today I have an amazing lesson that connects the ancient Pythagorean teachings to magic squares. And it's a thing that they revered called the Tectractus. So, so the ancient Pythagoreans believed that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus the 4, this is the 4, contained the universe. And this secret Tectractus is actually has an amazing connection to these magic squares. But just to show you a little bit about the Tectractus, because Tetra here, Tetra means four. So one plus two plus three plus four contain all the um, five platonic solids. You can see here one plus two plus three plus four was a universe of information. So um, this is from my library called the Tectractus, and it was written by Gordon Plummer. So Gordon Plummer... Um, was a favourite uh, theosophist of mine. He wrote The Mathematics of the Cosmic Mind, Gordon Plummer, and um, it was full of amazing diagrams and geometries of the universe. Um, so we can see here the pentacle within the pentacle. So how is the Tectractus com connected to all of this? Um, in this book here, um, I'm going to read you a paragraph from The Secret Doctrine, and I study a lot of the works of Madame Blavatsky, the Theosophist. And in this book here, this, the, the Holy Tectractus, I'm just going to read you one little paragraph. Um, the Pythagorean Tectractus um, was revered by the Platonicists. These were the people that studied Pythagoras. And they had the square below the triangle. The triangle and then the trinity um, embodying the invisible monad. Monad is like the God, the one, the unity. And it was deemed so sacred that you couldn't pronounce this within the unless you're in the walls of a sanctuary. So that was by Madame Blavatsky. But what she's saying is I remember as a child, I used to draw this all the time, the square with the triangle at top. And I remember as a puzzle, we would try and draw. There was a puzzle where you had to draw this house, the roof and the square without um, taking your pen off the paper. And that was the solution. So this is a very old childhood memory. And so it must have been in my, my cells, my soul memory to, to have been obsessed by this puzzle as a seven-year-old. Okay, so let's look at the connection, this ancient Pythagorean knowledge. I'm going to write the numbers. Actually, I might do it in red. That's the monad, the one, the unity consciousness. So one is one, and then now the next row, we're going to, this is called consecutive, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So two plus three, it adds up to five, that's fine. But let's look at the third row. The four plus the five plus the six, so you can add it now. What does that add up to? That adds up to 15. Now what's so special about 15 is that this magic square, nine numbers arranged so that all the the three vertical columns add up to 15. The three horizontal rows add up to 15. And also the two diagonals add up to 15. So that's why it's called a constant. Constant means forever. This is timeless fixed design. So that's the magic square of three was the center of the Sino-Tibetan calendar. This is real ancient knowledge. It's harmonic. It's ringing a bell. And when we, when we turn these numbers, when we turn these numbers into a pattern by joining one, two, three in order, you end up with a beautiful yantra. Yantra means a device, a machine, a tool to access higher knowledge. So after six, we've got seven plus eight plus nine plus ten adds up to thirty-four. And thirty-four is the next magic square. It's called the magic square constant. So instead of writing, see how I've um, written the numbers one, two, three, four, up to 16. I'm going to, re if I reverse the diagonals, I'm going to put 16, 11, 6, 1 here. So if I put 16, 11, 6, and 1, I've reversed that diagonal. I'm going to reverse this diagonal of the natural square. So I'm going to go 13, 10, 7, 4. 13, 10, 7, 4. And now I've got a magic square that's complete. So that this is the magic square constant. When you add up the diagonals of a natural square, it determines what the, the magic square will add up to. So this all adds up to 34, the four center numbers, four corner numbers, the four quadrants, these four plus those four, they all add up to 34. And the, the 
the geometry of um, so when you look when you look at the four by four square and you want to turn it into a mandala, these are the beautiful four square patterns that I've created. So that's the four. Let's move to the next magic square. So eleven plus twelve plus thirteen plus fourteen plus fifteen equals sixty five. And that makes the next, that makes this magic square here where the central crosses also add up to 65. That was very sacred to the Christians. And it makes this beautiful yantra here. That's a five by five. My favorite one here is the 16 plus the 17 plus the 18 plus the 19, 20, 21. Adds up to one, one, one. And this one is distinguished in all the mathematical art because this is the sun code this is the hindu peace symbol this is like the christian cross but the um oriental cross and it represents the galaxies in motion it's so sacred it was on the palm of the buddha so this swastika is a portal into the other dimensions and it was made from these numbers here so this all rings a bell one 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 um, i'm very excited about this and um doing a lot of work with that and just the last one, as you can see, we can go forever, but I'm just going to stop at one more on the seven by seven square. So that's adding up 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And that adds up to 175. And the pattern for the 175 is this beautiful Yantra, one of my favorites. And it's there's the numbers for it here. There's also another pattern just down here as well. This is the, the other pattern. So I just wanted to show you that how amazing is that, that, that this symbol for the Trinity, the triangle, the three that is one, the one in the three, actually contains the universe. It's a, it's, that's why it's called the cosmic triangle. And the more you look at it, you'll start perceiving that as I look into this triangle, what's the central cell? Straight away I can see, oh, the number 13 is um, somehow the pivot for this triangle. Or I might just want to examine this row here. And I think, what's so special about 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21? They're called the triangle numbers. Because when I add them up, um, this is 1. 1 plus 2 is the 3. And when I add... Um, three plus another three, this row, I get six. And when I go add, add four to the six, I get 10. But I could add another one, two, three, four, five. So 10 plus the five is 15. So th there's a triangular number series. And I'm sure if you were to examine this further, you'll continually find um, patterns within patterns within patterns. And I really enjoy teaching this knowledge because my job is to show you what we call mathematical plums. These are the, the gems and we want people of all ages to get excited about the symmetry of the soul. Nature's natural arrangement of whole number integers that form um, crystalline structures that form the abode. The word for the abode is the temple and the temple is the body. This is this is ancient knowledge that we're bringing into the forefront now so that we can apply this in our structures, in our curriculum, and essentially to make mathematics beautiful again.